In 2020, uh, that's right, racing's going through some changes uh, for the upcoming season. Jeremy and I won't be running the 1M. I've got the car sold and uh, should be a new owner racing it next year. But um, as many of you don't know, my oldest child was in a bad car wreck toward the end of the year, and he expressed a desire to get out and and autocross more in the coming year with um, his ability to play high school sports and coming to an end probably in that car wreck. So in 2020, we're going to get out and we're going to change things. Instead of being a high-budget, big-baller operation, um, we probably spent twenty to $30,000 a year racing the 1M split between you know two people to run in the uh, F-Stock, or excuse me, the H Street uh, Fiesta. And, uh, you know, it's just a, a lot cheaper car and a lot slower car, too. So it's be a little bit easier for the child to come up to speed on. And when I got back in this, I had access to mineral wells. We did a lot of testing. It brought me from, you know, lower third to mid-pack to upper third pretty quick because I was able to get out and go to a lot of testing tune days. With mineral wells going away, the opportunity to bring Joshua up quickly probably won't be there. So I am literally going to try to do more Evo schools than major autocrosses this year with him. And uh, we'll probably run here at the local SCCA events, but um, maybe go to one national event. But other than that, I mean, we're going we're gonna to try to go to Evo schools and put the money in there. I think that would have helped me a lot when I first started this. So um, the, the channel, I'm gonna, we're going to vlog the entire time. And me and Jeremy should have been doing this from day one. I mean, we traveled all over the country. So many funny moments of just different stuff. And I see people on YouTube travel vlogging. And I think it'll be a good educational experience uh, for the kids to learn how to uh, edit video. So we're going to do that. There'll be mainly there'll be three types of video there. One will be just the the travel part that'll get you to and from point A to point B, and then the traditional autocross fastest run of the day, and then commentary like I'm doing right now. We break an event down, we go through things. I'm not going to hold anything back. I mean, I'm just going to talk real openly, um, you know, about what I think about things as we, we go along. And it, sh it should be interesting. I mean, my goals for the, the channel are probably just to get a couple of hundred subscribers and maybe get those videos up to where they're getting 50 views or something like that. But to give back to the autocross community that... Uh, from the point of view of somebody that's been a part of a big budget, highly successful car to going back to running in a, a slower class with a lower budget car. Uh, it'll be interesting. So anyway, I'll wrap it up right there and I'll get another video up when the season starts.